Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. Today I'm going to be going over some of my favorite Granola Girl accessories, essentials, a whole bunch of different things for springtime. And I did one of these back in winter as well, but now that it's it's basically spring. We still have some snow on the ground here, but I'm sure it'll melt in the next few weeks or so. But now that it's basically spring, I wanted to do one of these Granola Girl essential videos again. And obviously you do not need any of the stuff or anything in particular to be a Granola Girl. Being a Granola Girl is more about your lifestyle and mindset, and I have an entire video about that if you're interested. I'll have that linked below. But this is just a fun little video showing you some of my favorites for springtime. First, it's time to slowly start bringing out some of our summer shoes, putting the winter boots away, and bringing out sandals. And I'm patiently waiting for the day that it's warm enough to wear these Tevas that I got. These are the Zymic hiking sandals, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Here's what they look like up close. These straps back here are so comfortable, they don't rub like some of my other shoes do. And of course, they are fully adjustable. These also come in a wide range of colors, but I went with this nice olive green color because it matches a lot of clothing that I own. And I am not exaggerating when I say these are some of the comfiest sandals I've ever worn. I can go a lot longer distance in these because again, they don't rub like some of my other sandals do. So yeah, super excited for the weather to finally be getting warm enough to wear these out. Spring is also the best time for pastels and lighter colors. I'm slowly switching over my wardrobe from a lot of the darker winter colors to the lighter spring colors. I've got a couple here. I love this light blue fleece. I found this at the thrift store. It's originally from Target, but I thought the light blue color was so pretty and perfect for spring. It's great because it's still warm enough to wear on these chillier spring days. I also have this pastel blue shirt. This is from Parks Project. It's got kind of like this cool checklist on the back of all the national parks and a super cool design in the middle that I really like. So yeah, while I do wear stuff like this all winter long, I just feel like pastels are perfect for springtime. I've also slowly been breaking out the baseball caps. I am 100% a baseball cap girly. All winter long, I'm wearing things like beanies, but springtime is when I really start bringing out my baseball caps again. They keep the sun out of your face, they keep the top of your head protected, so easy to throw on. And I got a couple new ones here. These are both from Sierra. Here's the first one. It's just this pink and white one and also a pink Carhartt one. These were on clearance at Sierra for like two or three dollars each, so I couldn't pass it up. I also have this new one from the Sequoia Project. This is a five panel hat and I cannot for the life of me find a way to make five panel hats look good on me. So this year I'm gonna make it my mission to wear these out and figure out hairstyles or ways to make these look better on me. Cause I feel like just as is, I don't like it like with my hair done like this, but I'm thinking maybe with some low buns or some braids, I can really make them work. Or maybe it's just because I'm not used to this style of hat and I think it looks a little off on me, but who knows. Kind of going with hats and like I just mentioned, this isn't a physical item, but it's something I wanna learn. And that is how to French and Dutch braid my hair. There are so many cute hiking hairstyles that incorporate braids and they're just so easy to do and low maintenance for when you're out hiking or camping. Well, I wouldn't say they're easy to do because I've been having a really hard time with it, but it's something I wanna learn. Your hair gets greasy and sweaty when you're out in the woods and I just want a hairstyle that I can throw it back, get it out of my face and have it still look cute. So yeah, I've been watching some tutorials and I really wanna get that hairstyle down. Next is SPF. The weather's getting warmer, we're out in the sun a lot more, and you need to be protecting your skin. Make sure you're wearing your SPF every day, especially if you're spending a lot of time outside. I love this little one from Mad Hippie. This is their daily protective serum. I just take a little pump of this and mix it into my moisturizer in the morning. And I haven't really talked about this a lot, but I've been slowly switching over to a non-toxic lifestyle for the last three, four years or so. So whenever I use up something like all of my old face wash and face serums, I buy something new that's non-toxic and more natural and just safer for your skin, especially stuff like this where you're putting it right on your skin and really letting it soak in. I love Mad Hippie for that. All their products are non-toxic. Dying Beauty is one of my all-time favorites as well and I'm trying my first product today from Primally Pure that's supposed to come in the mail. So yeah, I've just been slowly switching everything over to the non-toxic kind of natural lifestyle. Next thing I'm excited to bring out this spring are my new filming equipment and things that I got to make filming a little more fun and interesting. I've been collecting this stuff over the winter but it's just been too cold and I haven't really been in the mood to do a lot of hiking outdoors or especially photography or videography. So the first thing I got is the capture clip from Peak Design. This is what's really gonna allow me to bring my bigger cameras on hikes and have them attached right to my backpack strap. So this attaches right to your backpack strap and this attaches to your camera and I can just unclip my camera super easily to use it while hiking. So that way I don't have to worry about digging through a backpack to get it out or having it strung around my neck where it just bangs around or it'll make my neck kind of sore. So I'm super excited to test that out. 
as well as this new time lapse maker that I got. I used to have one of these forever ago when I was in film school, but it broke on me. So I got a new one as well as this little adapter for my GoPro. I really like to shoot vertically, but the GoPros are really made to shoot horizontal. So I'm really hoping this adapter helps because TikTok and Instagram are obviously vertical videos. But you can set the degree on this, how fast you want it to move, and it'll just slowly spin and capture a time lapse. So I can't wait to get out and start using these products. And lastly, spring is the perfect time to break back out your hammock. I really like this one from Bridger Gear. They got super cute pastel colors. I've got this lavender one. And what's special about it is that it's actually a fanny pack. So you don't have to try and shove it in your backpack or anything. You can just wear this out just like this. And I didn't nearly get out hammocking last year as much as I would have wanted to. So I'm excited this year for it to be warm enough to do this again. So those are all of my spring essentials and favorites and things that I'm just really excited to break back out again now that it's springtime. And I would of course love to hear your spring essentials down in the comments. And of course, like I mentioned, I'm a lot more active on Instagram and TikTok. I post there every day. So make sure to follow there for more videos. And subscribe here if you're not already. It really helps out the channel. So thanks for watching.